We're now going to show you how to create a button. This is one of the more simple tutorials that we're going to go over. There's only one real um, uh, thing that you have to know, and that's that's about the background image, and we'll go over that in just one sec. But first, just create a function called button, and, and then we're going to create our self equals ti.ui create window, and let's just um, create our first button. And our first button will just be um, a button with a border on it. So let's create a button, ti.ui dot create button and we'll put a title. The title is the text that is displayed inside the button. So we'll call that border button and we'll put a border color of red. If you want to have a look with rounded corners then you have to put a border radius and then we'll put a width of 125 and this is actually very important because if you don't put a width then the title will go to the to the ends of both lengths of the button. So you could also just be you could also just put two spaces in between the, the the title and the text, but um, I think a better practice is just knowing the the width of your of your button. So, and then just add that button to the window, and by default that will be in the center of the of the window because we didn't put a top, left, bottom, or right. And then we'll create a button that uses an image, and this is the one that's a little more confusing, and that's because there is an image property with a button, but that's not actually what displays an image. You want to use the background image as the property that you set the button. And I've also added a, uh, an image that um, was not included when we created the app in the app.js, so you might want to check GitHub to, to download this image, or you can just use your in, own image um, in, in place of this. So let's just put this one 75 from the top and we'll put a width of 150 and a height of 56 and that's because those are the actual dimensions of the image that I'm using and then like I said do not use the image property because that won't work you're gonna set the background image and then you always start with a forward slash and then the images and that's just because Android won't recognize it um, iPhone will recognize it whether you put the the forward slash at the beginning or not but Android won't so always put a forward slash at the beginning of your images because that's going to be your images folder and this is our my image is called button alert png and then we just add that image to the window and then to create a click event and this is pretty much going to be the one of the only events that you're going to use for a button you just do add event listener and then click and then create our function and since the name of our button will actually be an alert we'll just send an alert and and then and then close it and then we return ourself and export our module which was called button and since I, all I have to do is bring it up now so here's my um, my app and I click on it so here's my alert button here's my border button so you notice how it has the space in between the N and the B right here and that's because I knew I specified a width I had to check it a couple times but um, that's what the width is and I didn't add a click event for this button but for this one I did add an alert, so this button has an alert.